we, the one story that I well that really brought me back into life. Um, I had been very ill in India and um, with amoebic dysentery and had been in a room for a week by myself, essentially. And um, then I decided to go down to the foyer of the hotel to try to get back into life without going out on the street, which terrified me. And so I sat down at the end of the couch to write a letter home. And um, I was sitting right at the very end writing. And this beautiful, very black Indian lady came over and sat between the end of the couch and me. It pushed me down from the end so that she could sit right beside my writing arm. And I could feel her warm black arm on my arm. And she really cuddled in beside me, and it embarrassed me. Oh, on anglo sex <clears throat> Well, you see what it was. So anyway, I, I kept on writing. And she would push in closer, and then I would move a little bit further towards the other end of the couch. By the end of the hour, I was right at the other end of the couch and she was right in beside me. And I thought, what strange behavior. What is going on with this perfect stranger? But anyway, I was very tired, so I went back up to my room. And the next day I came down again and again was writing on this same couch and trying to cuddle into the side of it so nobody would bother me. And she came again with her beautiful sari and her lovely warm arm. And this day I was glad for the arm. It was warm. And, you know, that big soft leg was right beside mine and it was soft. And so I was sort of cuddled in a bit. And I, but again, we got right to the other end of the couch because I was determined to try to write this letter and couldn't because she wouldn't get in the way of my arm. We, this went on for four days. And the last day, this man came up to me, an Indian man, and he said, my wife won't have to come anymore. And I said, what do you mean? Well, he said, I sent my wife to sit with you. He said, I could see that you were dying. And I sent my wife to bring you back to life. Oh. And so, you know, there is the, the sheer beauty of India. I was a perfect stranger. Yes. And he saw me she couldn't speak any english so the feeling value which in this case was her feeling for my life was totally present in both of the bodies sitting on that couch and of course for me this opened up the whole dimension of the black madonna and the feeling function of of the dark feminine which could bring my body back to life and did mm -hmm. because I was so far out in spirit that I couldn't, I couldn't function anymore. 